Cummins has spent a lot of time over the last couple of years really thinking about both our legacy around corporate responsibility and what it means going forward. Mr. Miller, uh, J. Irwin Miller, who was um, one of the founders, or really the founder of Cummins and our longtime chairman, talked a lot about uh, what a corporation's role is in society. Uh, we tend not to talk about it as social responsibility, we tend to talk about it as corporate responsibility. The reason is, uh, as we've developed the business cases, it's not because it's nice to do, it's because we need to do it. Uh, a lot of what um, he had talked about was a corporation or any business can only be as successful as the society in which it operates. If our communities are healthy, our locations, business locations will be healthy. If the world is a healthy, just, and uh, evolving place, then business will do better. So it's been tied to that. Uh, he also talked a lot about uh, two aspects of why a corporation is specifically well situated to having a, uh, to making an impact. One is we're used to thinking about uh, how to go after issues in a variety of ways, whether they're financial, technical, whatever. And so we can pl apply those same skills to solving problems in our communities or in the world at large. The other thing is we're in a different role. Uh, Not-for-profits have a role, governments have a role, individuals have a role, and companies are well situated to bringing together teams of people to go after problem solving. So we define it as really a variety of things. One is really thinking about what's the impact that we have by operating in society on our communities, on our people, on our customers, etc. And second, how do we use all of our skills to help solve problems in the community? When we started looking at the business case for corporate responsibility, uh, it's been about two years ago, we started re-examining it because what we've learned is people need to understand how what you're trying to do fits into the overall business structure, your overall strategy as a company. And uh, it was a great learning exercise for me. We first started back with the Mr. Miller thinking around we are only as healthy as the society in which we operate. Um, and that, so that's a little bit of the, the why would you engage in it to begin with. And then we started looking at what is corporate responsibility and that's when it really got interesting. Because you have some people who think it's only about philanthropy. And I list that at the bottom of our corporate response, what is corporate responsibility? And we talk about philanthropy only supplementing uh, our other corporate responsibility efforts. So it's around establishing your values, uh, advocacy, building um, partnerships to think about how to make change, but it's really about engaging teams of people to help drive improvement in society and in your communities. And so when you use that definition, it spoke to people. It helped people understand why it's important. Uh, because it's not just about are you right, if all it is about writing a check to uh, a not-for-profit, then you probably are wasting your shareholders' money. Because then you're not really focused on how do you bring the full resources of the company to make a difference, and you use a little bit of money to supplement that. And that really, I think, opened people's eyes to what real, why is this important and what is it we're trying to do. And then we think about um, what we're going to focus on and all those kinds of things, but it's fundamentally how do we drive improvement in our communities. So, for example, if we're opening plants in Eastern Europe, how should we think about getting the right talent? Is the educational system working there? Or if we're... Um, if we're operating in a country where women are not allowed to work or are not allowed to get an education, how should we make a difference there? So it helps us think about things. So you don't go in and say, well, we're going to give a bunch of money to this. You go in and say, how can we work with the community, the society to bring about change and then get our people involved, get our processes involved, uh, get other advocates, collaborate with others, and ultimately help make change.